Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Glad you could be with me. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about is um, credit cards. And with the way that the economy is, inflation, interest rates going up, people being charged high interest amounts, even if you have good credit, um, what I highly recommend here in all possible cases is, <clears throat> if at all possible, try to not use your credit card unless it's an actual last resort emergency where you actually have to use it. Or if your car breaks down, you don't have any cash, but you have to pay for something. But the only thing you have on you is a credit card. But what I do recommend is as soon as possible, if you can, pay that amount off once you get the ability to do so. So you can not have to pay any interest on it. Um, I do know that credit card debt originally was supposed to be a short term thing, meaning maybe have a debt for about a month or two, if that, pay it off, and then you're out of it. It was never meant for a person to go thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars into debt, which you do have a lot of people out there that are in that position. So this is why I say, if at all possible, go ahead, use regular cash money. Yes, I understand it's a little bit not as safe to use cash because you have a higher chance of possibly getting ripped off or robbed or something happened, or you can drop it on the ground or on the floor and you lose money. But what I like about cash money is this purpose right here. When you have a transaction, the transaction is over and done and finished. Most people may or may not realize with a credit card and one credit card from the other has different percent fees that they have to pay the merchant back a certain amount of money. Um, same goes with debit cards. The merchant where you go to buy something using your debit, that merchant has to pay your bank or your credit union back a certain percent fee. Now, there are a few places that I know of, especially mom and pop type places, that will not take any type of plastic whatsoever. It's either cash money or no money at all. In fact, here's one for rule where I go to get a haircut. They are a family established business, but they will not take debit or credit. It is strictly cash or no transaction, which I like that better, honestly. But again, bottom line, if an emergency situation pops up, you don't have the cash money on you, fine. Use a credit card. A debit is okay too, but again, be careful that you may not be charged with that 3% fee because there are some businesses that will tack on that extra transaction fee. You may not know that. But they, but they will. I had that happen at one place that I went to eat at. Very good food, mind you. But I noticed when I added up the amount with tax and what they charged me was a slightly different amount. So I know they charged me that 3%. So you have to be careful when you go and make a purchase. But as far as I'm concerned, Many may or may not disagree with me. Cash will always be king. Because how is putting somebody in more debt, making it harder to pay off, going to improve being in a recession or inflation? It's not. 
It's not. It actually puts the consumer in a worse place, if you ask me. That's how I feel about it. Well, I just wanted to come on here and throw these few words out to you guys. Um, again, I hope you like my content if you do. Much appreciated if you would like and subscribe. And uh, make sure the bell beside the subscribe button is lit. That way, whenever I upload and put up a video, you will get the notification knowing when I upload a video. Well, I hope everybody has um, a great whatever time of day it is that everybody is having. And I, myself, will see you back here at another time. Take care. Bye.